Hello guys, Foxy Weather here, and long time seen. And yeah, the weather has been exceptionally boring, and still is. But does it look like we are going back to? Uh, we are not back. More like we are going into um, unsettled weather next week, which is good. Um, so yeah, it has been very boring. Hence why I made a video. It's no point. But yeah, let me show you. So Saturday night does look like we are going to get. Oh, as you can see, the ten-day trend. Brilliant. Alrighty, I'm liking that. Those no strong winds and stuff. As you can see. But it is going to get very warm on Saturday. It'll be the warmest day September. Um, here would be the really low 20s, possibly the southeast corner, 25 degrees, you know. Because we're getting to breathe southerly because high pressure is pulling away to the east, as you can see here. And low pressure is coming in. So, But that... On Saturday, however, in, there's a there's a, a risk of thunderstorms, quite big thunderstorms, maybe. Hopefully, you know. I'm not really bothered, but all I want is just some rain, because it has been very, very boring. But yeah, I wish it's granted. So, so yeah, does look quite good. A lot of low pressure. And then this will be showery, so that will be a northerly wind. So thankfully it's turning cooler. So that is a northerly. Then we get another area of low pressure here. But that high pressure, that will probably bring northerly wind with showers with it, you know. This one will bring... Yeah, that one will bring rain, as you can see, like it always does. So actually, I'm liking that. Get another, and then we've got more low pressure systems. So yeah, God knows how long it's gonna last, possibly two weeks. So that's good, might get high pressure at times. But yeah, it does look like the Atlantic is ramping up finally. So yeah, finally we're getting rid of this bore fest of a weather. That's Humberto there. We're going to get a mixture of Humberto. And then there's all low pressure system, but those two all combined together into just one big area of high pressure, as you can see. Watch how it does it. Bam! Just all, all these low pressures just joined together right there. Here's Humberto, hits England, bring in heavy rain, you know. Got some screenshots, looks good. God, I miss it so much. It's good to see, see low pressure on those charts and rain on those charts because it has been pretty boring for the past two weeks. So, yeah, Saturday be quite very warm but yeah that will bring a lot of rain Ooh, that could mean a lot of heavy widespread rain like June so that uh, Sunday could be wet <sighs> And my dog's shaking, there we go. As you can see. All the way through. Stay Wednesday. Get northerly. Then we get another low pressure system. So 
also looks very good. Rainfall spikes looks quite decent, as you can see. So I'm happy with that. You can see that's heavy rain for us. Here yeah, we're here and that moves and stories. as you can see, you know, low pressure, low pressure, so yeah, I mean the woods, very boring sunny weather, till, you know, Saturday I guess, leaves are changing colour though, especially this one here, that's really changing colour. Believe it or not, temperatures went down to two degrees. No joke, it went down to two degrees last night, seven o'clock in the morning. Went right down to two. As you can see, We've got five, four, three, two. Right there, so, so that's two degrees. Seven o'clock, I was like, bloody hell, man. Two degrees. It's flipping freezing outside. That's what I was like. I was like, oh my god, so cold. And there's like loads of dew. Right now, how many degrees? Oh my god, it went to like 21. Around 20 degrees. Jesus Christ. So that's a proper diurnal temperature there. It's proper diurnal. You can see the leaves are changing colour. And um, watch this. This falls off. <laughs> I barely have to touch it. So when we do get the unsettled weather, that should, you know, watch. <laughs> This falls off, look. Didn't even have to pull it off. <laughs> they just fall off. That's how it works, they die. I mean, it does look pretty cool, not gonna lie. It's... Oh, there's some red ones here. <sighs> I can't wait to get rid of this boar fest. I mean, I guess it is September, so it's not really, you know, unusual for September to have dry weather and stuff. Can't believe it's, it's the 18th of September. Like, what the hell? Already? Bloody hell. No way. No way. No. Oh, it's the last week of September next week. Oh my god. Nah. That's just mad. That is mad, that is. This weekend it's going to be the autumn equinox. And now we're losing like at least what? Seven minutes of daylight? <laughs> Six, seven minutes? But I guess we get to see some really cool, vivid sunsets. Which is a good thing about this weather and stuff. But... Oh, man. I want at least... Yes, at least three centimetres of snow this winter. Five to ten centimetres. Perfect. I'll take that. If, if southern England was in, let's say, the, um, 20 to 30 centimetres, the Midlands 
were five to ten centimetres. England, I mean Eastern England, um, two to five. Wales, um, ten to fifteen centimetres. I'd be pretty happy with that. Like, I seriously would, like, five to ten centimetres is a good amount. It is a good amount of snow. Like, that's, like, enough snow to shut the school down for a couple of days. And think, remember the 26th of December? Not the, tw not the 10th, but the 26th. Boxing Day, where we had um, a duo... Weather event, yes, a duo, which means two. We had a rain event and a snow event. <laughs> like, yeah, not joking. Oh, these are cool. Watch. Let's try and knock one off. Oh, just knocked my dog lead. Yeah, duo, rain event and snow event. So we had um, 27 point, I think, yeah, no, yeah, 27 millimetres, 27.1 millimetres, but yeah, 27 millimetres of rain. And then we had seven centimetres of snow. I thought, it's going to melt, isn't it? It's gonna melt so quick so I thought and then I remember and I fell asleep and I went to sleep woke up around what 3 4 p.m. and whoa, bam it's complete it's completely white outside and I was like holy yeah the word not gonna say let's just say holy crap that's a lot of snow, that's a ton of snow. And then this van was coming and it was really struggling. I was like, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of snow. So I went back to, so I thought, oh my God. And it was snowing a little bit and stuff. I think about 27 millimeters of rain in winter. Grand was already saturated and stuff. And I thought, oh my God. Oh, we found some fox poo. That's fox poo. Be careful. You do not want to put your feet on that or let dogs roll on that because it will stink. So back to what I was saying about the 26th of December. So that's what happened when I went to sleep. Had a dream. Well, I won't say a dream, but it was more like a dream. And then a false awakening. Yes, I had a good old false awakening. That I woke up, looked outside, snow was gone. Snow was gone, it was very, 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 very wet outside. Snow was, was gone, I was like, oh no, why? And then woke up for real, and then still snow, same amount, you know. And then the sun rose, and it was clear, and I thought, yeah, that's it, it's going to melt. It's going to melt because it's not even compact snow. It is fresh snow, wet, fresh, wet snow. Yes, quite wet, really wet snow, that's settled. I thought, it's going to melt, and it's going to turn to slush once the sun about lunch time now we went to rugby <laughs> bam it was really hard to drive like roads were bad but however the roads were already ploughed because obviously if you have wet, wet really wet conditions then it snows it's a lot easier to plough but in dry and then snowy conditions it's really hard to plough and then so yeah, there was loads of snow on the side, so much snow. There was some flood, there was quite a bit of flooding around as well. Some quite big flooding, the brooks were, bloody hell, they were high. Like, they were, 
they kind of bursted off the banks. It was touching the grass. It was literally touching the grass. But that's still lots of snow, and I thought, oh my god. And all that stuff. And then. Seeing rugby, and then I thought, it's gonna melt, isn't it? Sun's out. It's crystal clear, blue skies. I thought, it's gonna melt, isn't it? So. I went ice skating that day, coincidentally. <laughs> Very a big coincidence between a snow event and ice skating. I actually did a lot of snow, uh, snow and ice associated activities. Not when it snowed, but like snow dome and you name it <laughs> and stuff. So, which we do every year, you know. We do it all the time. In winter, it's fun. Even though there's loads of snow, but yeah. Um, so that's what we did, and then came out. Went home, snow is exactly the same, it didn't melt, but like none of it melted. Roads were still snow. Obviously the main streets, like the proper main street, let's say Coventry Road, dual carriageways, motorways, you name it, and stuff. They were all ploughed, except the ones here. But you couldn't grit, could you? Because you don't think what you, you think what you should do, you put grit first, and then snow lies on it, it will melt. Then the thing is, it will get tread on the grit and it will eventually be useless after a while and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so, that's what happened. And also, we could get some really good, some really quite gusty winds next week as well. So, that should be good. So, yeah. But I'm just going to say, last winter was a one-off. It was a big, fat one-off. Like, trust me, when I say this, we don't usually just get dustings every year. We get at least three centimetres. At least three to... Three, at least three to five centimetres. At least that amount. <laughs> Even in 2016, we had five centimetres. No, we had about... Three, yeah, three. Oh yeah, three to five centimeters at least. And yeah, how many snow events did we have that's been above 10 centimeters? So we had 10th of December, the bees for the so that's about, about um, yeah, three times. Then, then Beast from the East Part 2, that gave us five centimetres. Which, that was a good amount of snow, not going to complain. I was, like, I was really happy with that, you know. Just hope it's unsettled, you know, get some good unsettled weather. Then get some channel lows then, you know. So, yeah. But yes, it was one off. But yeah, we did have sudden stratospheric warming, but the stratospheric didn't the stratospheric didn't respond unfortunately. So nothing really happened. So yeah. Usually dry crap winters, you do get some good snow events like 2012. That was 2011, 2012. That was Dryish, you know that was. It wasn't. It wasn't like you know what we had, but let's just say it was like 2016 and stuff. I mean, winter 2017, 2018. That was a good winter. I loved that. Windstorms were bloody mad though. So I uh, just wish I documented it. All of that, especially summer 2018, because. Like, we may never experience that again, like, something like that, like, that's rare. That is just rare to have, to experience that. That summer, I wish I did. I'd be like, look at the grass, all that stuff, the rivers are low, and it's that, and, you know. 
There won't be a lot of videos of it, but there'll be quite a few. Oh, I just wish I documented winter 2017-2018. So, so wish I did. Because that was such a good winter. So yeah, I'm going to go now. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.